The Igala Kingdom, Ane Igala, is a pre-colonial West African state in the middle belt of Nigeria. The kingdom was founded by the Yala people with the Atta as their king, chief priest, national father and spiritual head, with Ida as the capital of the entire Igala race. As Africans, the Igalas belong to the Kwa subgroup of the Niger-Congo language family. The Niger-Congo languages constitute one of the world's major language families and Africa's largest in terms of geographical area and number of speakers. Igala is a language of the Yoruboid branch of the Defoid. The Defoid languages constitutes a branch of the Benue Congo language family. It comprises the Igalas and the Sekiri group of southern Nigeria. This accounts for why the Igalas and the Yorubas share almost the same culture and similarities, especially in the pronunciation of words and meanings. Influences of the Igalas operating from the headquarters at Ida is also felt at Inri, Ipo, Uku, and Onicha in Anambra State, among the Nambi and Calabari on the Atlantic coast of Saba, and among Nupe in present day Niger State, where an Igala prince, Tosede or Egi, is acclaimed to have established a Nupe kingdom. The Igala kingdom is recorded in history as one of the most powerful kingdoms in ancient times. From trade to art and war, the kingdom stood tall. Wars, for instance, were fought with the Jukuns of Kwararafa in present-day southern Taraba state and with Benin during the reign of Obaisige I in 1515 and 1516 AD, as recorded by the Portuguese. In fact, the oldest story building in Nigeria is recorded to be the Odogo in Ida. Odogo is a historical edifice, a tall tower used by the Atar's security details in ancient times for war civilians on the activities of the enemies around the Gala Kingdom. The great author and historian J.S. Boston in his research made a carbon dating on the structure and it was confirmed that the Gala Odogo Tower is the oldest story building in Nigeria. The mold used for the structure was not mixed with water. It was mixed with palm oil, clay, stones and other fibrous materials making it withstand weathering and forms of environmental degradation that affects normal buildings. The present roofing sheet is a later addition to protect the walls but the original roofing was touched with grass. Odogo was built by Atta Abutueje around 13th century, that is 800 years ago. It is said that the first story building in Nigeria, in Badagri, Lagos, was built in 1845, that is 233 years ago, under the supervision of a missionary named Reverend C. A. Goma. Meanwhile, the Igala Odogo, made of local materials, is said to be 800 years old, and it has survived the harshest of weathers and times, and is still standing, even after 800 years of existence. The influence of the Igala Kingdom on present-day Nigeria cannot be easily ignored because the Igala pre-colonial political administration played an important role not only within the confines of the Confluence Basin but far beyond the area. The traditions of Nupe, Jukun, Benin, Igbo and Igala and its immediate neighbors indicate ties of great antiquity. The Igala Kingdom was the most powerful kingdom between 16th and 18th century after defeating the Jukuns, Benins and House of Fulani Jihadists. The kingdom was famous and prosperous so that it affected a wider scope of societies and regions far away from its base. 
The colonial rulers, it was said, spent most of their time along the River Niger and Bainway Conference region of Nigeria, an area mostly belonging to the Igala Kingdom in those days and regarded as the Nigerian Museum of Colonial History. So great was the kingdom that its governmental structure, which was a little reflective of democracy headed by the overall traditional head of the kingdom, was automatically approved for states requesting for sultanate, monarchy, and aristocracy in colonial times. Now, of a million things to look into about the Igalas, perhaps the keenest of interest should be on the Atai Gala. Loosely translated in English language, Ata means father, but to the Igalas, it is a lot deeper. The Ata Igala is unlike any other monarch. He is revered for many reasons, some of which include he is the father of all Igalas, he commands the Igala army, he is the chief hunter, and he is a chief priest. The Atas tool is so revered, it is considered by many historians as a deity on its own. And so powerful is the Atta that his words and pronouncements do not go unfulfilled. The records of the famous Atta Meoboni, his bravery and courage to mitigate the influence of the British colonial masters on the Igala kingdom, resounds throughout history with several folk tales of his life and times passed down through time. So great is the Ata Igala's too, that according to Igala traditional belief, the Ata never dies. The Ata only goes to hunt with his ancestors, and the coronation of a new Ata is the return of the Ata from hunting. From the Benin Kingdom to the Caliphate and the Kingdom of Ife to the Great Jukun Kingdom, all across to the Isekiri Kingdom to the Nope and Ibo land, the event of the return of the Atai Gala is a beehive of cultures and traditions meeting in solidarity and cordiality. This goes far to tell the influence of the Gala Kingdom. <laughs>